we're gonna put on the charger because how am I supposed to play on my phone and avoid all my responsibilities if my phone's dead? I didn't wake up on time today. I slept in. It's eight o'clock right now. This is old eight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize for the way I was talking. I don't really know why I was talking like that. I guess it was fun at the time, but now watching it back, I'm just like, hello. No, that's eight. Okay, you also can't lay right there. This is Bexy's vlog now. Bexy, tell them what you're doing today. Bexy, look in the camera and tell them what you're doing today. Okay, I think he's over it. I'm sorry, I hope you guys enjoyed Baxter's vlog. Maybe I'll convince him to continue YouTube, I don't know. <laughs>
at Thunder State in the outdoor last night. So I'm gonna grab his hay net and feed him that's out here. So the tours are finally done. It always takes me a little longer. It always takes me a little bit longer whenever I'm vlogging because I have to take time to set the camera up and like whatever. Um, so I think it's like a little after 10. I sh really should have put on makeup. Yesterday was beautiful out. Riley was out here, she had a lesson and we jumped Flash and Marco. So I'm gonna insert some video of that from yesterday. I really wanted to include these videos from yesterday because this is one of Riley's first times doing an actual course on her pony that requires changing direction and all that. Because in the past, Flash has gotten a little quick going to jumps, especially across the diagonal. And so it's taken some time to kind of rebuild some confidence and Flash has actually like really settled down a lot and Riley's become a much better rider. She's much stronger and more secure in the saddle and is way more confident. So it's all kind of coming together for them. So I wanted to include this because I'm really proud of how well she did this day. And this is also the first time that she's went down the lines and the correct stride on her pony as well as Marco because we had been doing the ad since that's a bit easier pace to learn at. So basically what I'm saying is I'm just really proud and happy with how Riley rode this day, so I wanted to include this stuff in here. I just want you to love me with stink. I'm gonna go get Pablo and try and jump him outside before it rains. Cause I was like expecting it to already be raining by now. So I was thinking I wasn't gonna be able to ride outside at all today, but I might actually be able to.
I'm gonna get Pablo put outside and then I'm gonna grab Thunder and I'm gonna lunge him really quick. In. I have to pee really bad. He's a good boy. He the, the Nelsberger. I don't know why I call him Nelsberger. Seriously, Nelson. Do you understand that I have to pee like really, really bad? And I'm probably gonna have to pee my pants. Nelson! So as you can see, Kane was a bit full of himself today. He's done trout poles a million times before, but I think riding outside for the first time in a while made him a bit goofy and he needed a reminder that he's not supposed to jump through the trout poles. Normally at this point, I'd say something sarcastic and make a joke, but I'm going to share a training tip I have instead. If you have a horse that insists on jumping over any ground pole, whether it be a single pole or a set of trout poles, and you're just wanting them to trot over the pole, try riding over the pole with a slight bend in your horse's body because that'll make it way harder for them to jump. I rode Kane on a circle while maintaining my bend over the poles until he settled down and then we were able to trot through the poles how we normally would.
Geronimo. He's like, what are you? <laughs> Hi, Flashy. You have hay on your halter. Hi, Bunny. Oh my gosh, this light. I'm gonna lunge Geronimo while the beet pulp is soaking, and then I'm gonna put him outside and feed everyone, and probably gonna blanket everyone that isn't blanketed because it looks like it's about to storm, so I don't want him to get cold. I'm really sorry for the strobe light effect, but I'm getting really impatient for the light to stop. And I'm pretty sure Geronimo is ready to be outside too. So we're just gonna have to accept the fact that the lighting sucks. And we did have the bulbs replaced on that light, but it did not fix the problem. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but we really need to do something because this is really stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh, now that I'm about ready to leave his stall, the light stops. Are you kidding me? Everyone's eating. I'm gonna get a quick snack and then I'm gonna try and ride as many more as I possibly can until I'm just like exhausted and I can no longer stand. So that's the plan for the rest of the night. This is my dinner, Lunchable and some muffins. I'm gonna eat out in the barn because if I eat inside then I'm just not gonna come back out here. But when I get inside and start warming up, it's just like game over. Bexy needs some love. He has to check himself out. I should probably clean the window. <laughs> I'm so tired. But I'm gonna just push myself. I can slow down. Was he abscessed last week? So I wasn't able to do anything with him, and I'm hoping that he feels better. I lunged him a few days ago, and he looked good. So hopefully, we have a sound worse when I ride. Otherwise, I might just cry because I'm so tired and uh, my throat hurts.
So, I don't use it. Oh. He was using it as a header. It's 9.43, 9.44. Oh my lord. I'm exhausted. Uh, I feel like a zombie. He's so cute. Are you having a backseat? Aww. 